Hello, welcome to episode 2 of this game dev vlog. This week I will continue to work on building construction. I want NPCs to be able to install planks on the floors, so they obviously need to carry the planks there. So that's what I implemented first. As you can see, everyone now is carrying two different boards in their hands. They can't do anything with those boards yet, neither pick them up nor put them down, but I'm going to implement that soon. One thing I actually did for last week's episode was create a free-flying camera. The controls are still a bit clunky, but I can move up and down, left and right, can zoom in and out, and I can also pan the camera around. And I used that to capture last week's thumbnail, and I'm probably going to use it to capture more relevant angles in the coming videos. Also, if you're wondering about the black border, it's simply caused by the lighting shader. Actually, the world extends quite a bit beyond those black borders, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to fix that lighting shader very soon. I now want to write the code that planks the floor in a realistic way, but before I do that, I decided to create a slightly more complex shape so I can see whether my algorithm actually performs well in all conditions. That's what you're seeing now. Now I can start writing the code that actually tiles the floor. The first thing was covering the perimeter on board, and it certainly was the easiest of the steps because I simply needed to put one board on every edge. Next, I added these support beams, which have quite some space between them, so I can mount the actual floorboards at a 90 degree angle on them. Next, I added the actual floorboards, which are just one long wooden plank, and I'm going to segment them very soon, but first I need to fix something different. Because the generator for the boards always gets the exact same seat, all the boards are shamed the same way, which makes for a nice pattern, but also doesn't look very realistic. So now I changed that and you can see a before and after on the screen now. I was trying to segment the long boards so they consist of multiple small segments, but something seems to have gone wrong and now I have all these flying spaghetti hovering above the construction site. I now removed those flying boards and got segmentation to work. You might also be able to notice that the board segments all end at places where a support beam is underneath. The floor is now constructed piece by piece. This probably won't look very impressive, but it took a long time to implement. The reason this took so long was getting it to work without a large performance hit. At the moment, I create the entire mesh in the beginning and remember where every plank starts and ends. I then send the whole mesh to the graphics card and hide it. Then, whenever I want to add a new plank, I can just look up where the specific plank starts and ends and show just that specific bit. That way, I need to send almost no data to the graphics card apart from in the beginning. At the moment, those planks are just added in quick succession to demonstrate how the system works, but next week, I'm going to work on having the NPCs actually install individual planks. So that's the progress of the past two weeks. Some things took longer than anticipated, but I'm still quite happy with the overall result. Hopefully, the building part will look more impressive in the next episode, but exam season is quickly approaching, so I'm not sure how much time I will be able to dedicate to game development in the near future.